I got LASIK one week ago, and today I'm going to talk to you about what LASIK was like, and I'm going to show you my full LASIK procedure. For more videos on how to live your best life with whole life wellness, hit the subscribe button to be notified anytime a new video goes live. Hey there, I'm Dawn Perez. I'm from Wild Simple Joy. I'm a nutrition coach and a life coach, and I have a passion for pursuing the best that life has to offer and sharing it with all of you. So I just got LASIK surgery one week ago, and it was amazing. My eyes were so bad. Wearing contacts made my eyes really dry, and wearing glasses made my eyes really tired. Um, I was constantly switching back and forth between the two of them. And so I decided to get LASIK. Of course, when I told my friends this, they gave me all kinds of horror stories and told me that they weren't reliable. And I started to second guess myself. But I was insistent that this was going to increase the quality of my life. And I knew that I could get it done the right way. I thought that getting my eyes done at a smaller clinic as opposed to one of those mass market budget places would ensure that I would have a much, much better experience. And I was so right. Um, that desire led me to Dr. Coleman and Coleman Vision here in New Mexico. Dr. Coleman has people come from all over the Southwest to get their LASIK done with him. He and the staff there were so incredible. The technology is absolutely state of the art. I never felt rushed when we were there, but I also never had to wait to be seen. And it felt really good to feel that my needs as a client and as a patient were absolutely at the top of their priority list. After I was done getting tested and they made sure that my eyes were a good fit for LASIK, they walked me through the whole procedure and they were so very, very transparent. Um, when you're getting an elective surgery done, it's so important to make sure that they are going to take the best care of you possible. Cost should not be a deal breaker in an elective surgery like this. If you want to know the specifics of what it was like to get LASIK done, I walk through each step of the way on a blog post on Wild Simple Joy. I've put a link in the description below, so check it out. But right now, I'm going to walk you through the whole procedure. One of the staff members there was kind enough to record the procedure and narrate it for me so that you can see exactly what they're doing each step of the way, and I hope you enjoy. Surgery of Don Pettis getting her corneas nice and numb. Just kind of tricks her brain to think she doesn't need to blink. We are gonna start by making some epithelial flaps. The epithelial layer lays above the cornea. It's about a five cell layer deep. So what he's doing now is moving her on over to this first laser, gonna get her all aligned. We are gonna put a suction ring that holds open her eyelids for her also stabilizes the eye. Feels a little bit of pressure, no pain whatsoever. Then he's gonna swing her on over to this first laser. This laser is called the IFS laser. That laser is gonna dock right on top of that suction ring. So what the IFS laser does is creates a flap within that epithelial layer with CO2 and O2 bubbles. Get her nice and adjusted there. And that flap will start to form with those CO2 and O2 bubbles. And there's that flap being created. And this is her right eye that we are starting with. And we repeat that very same process on the left eye. Perfect, that flap is all done. Now we're gonna repeat that very same process on that left eye. <laughs> so he's gonna remove that suction ring and then put a suction ring on that left eye. Perfect. And we're 
we're gonna move around over to the second laser. This is a star SR IR laser. Perfect, so what it does, so he's gonna zoom on in and he is going to use eye clamps this time to hold open her eyelids for her. And then he is gonna lift that flap that he just created to get to that cornea. So there goes that flap, almost like creating a face to watch and he's gonna lift that face to get to the actual cornea there. Lifting that skin layer, perfect. And then he, he is going to zoom on in and take a picture of Don's eye. With our technology, the eye design, not only does it take a fingerprint of your prescription, but it takes a fingerprint of distinct iris markings to your very own eye. So those green boxes that pull up, that is known as iris registration. So the laser has to be, be perfectly aligned with those iris markings at all times during surgery, or else it shuts off automatically. So there's that surgery start to take place, that correction, that laser is starting to reshape her cornea take away her prescription, also smoothing out her cornea, which takes away that astigmatism as well. She's halfway done with that correction. That blue line on the left there ticking down tells us how much correction she has left. Halfway there. And this process literally takes seconds as well for that correction to take place. Almost done. Perfect. And her left eye is all done. What he's gonna do is he places that flap right back down right on top of that corrected eye. What's really cool about our eyes is that there is a pump behind our cornea. So as soon as he places that flap back down, that pump suctions back like a submarine door, holding that flap into place. Extremely hard to move. Almost like creating a manhole cover if it's perfectly within its own space. And as soon as she walks out of here, she's already about 70% healed, which is crazy. Making sure that flap is nice and smooth and pinned down all the way on that eye. Also, as soon as she gets up from surgery, it's going to feel as if she's been in a chlorine-filled pool all day. That fuzzy, haziness feeling. And that is completely normal due to the inflammation of the cornea. And this dawn is all done. Yep. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for filming. Yes, of course. I was seeing about 2015. 18 hours after my LASIK surgery. Seriously, that short. I want to thank my sponsor Coleman Vision for my new eyes and for sponsoring this video. This was the best LASIK experience I could have ever wished for. So what do you think? Would you ever have LASIK done? Drop me a comment below, tell me what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.